Chapter 2. Defend Institutions. It is institutions that help us to preserve decency. They need our help as well. Do not speak of, quote, our institutions, end quote, unless you make them yours by acting on their behalf. Institutions do not protect themselves. They fall one after the other unless each is defended from the beginning. So, Choose an institution you care about, a court, a newspaper, a law, a labor union, and take its side. We tend to assume that institutions will automatically maintain themselves against even the most direct attacks. That was the very mistake that some German Jews made about Hitler and the Nazis after they had formed a government on February 2nd, 1933, for example, a leading newspaper for German Jews published an editorial expressing this mislaid trust. Quote, we do not subscribe to the view that Mr. Hitler and his friends, now finally in possession of the power they have so long desired, will implement the proposals circulated in German newspapers. They will suddenly deprive German Jews of their constitutional rights, nor enclose them in ghettos, nor subject them to the jealous and murderous impulses of the mob. They cannot do this because a number of crucial factors hold powers in check, and they clearly do not want to go down that road. When one acts as a European power, the whole atmosphere tends toward ethical reflection upon one's better self and away from visiting one's earlier oppositional posture. Such was the view of many reasonable people in 1933, just as it is the view of many reasonable people now. The mistake is to assume that rulers who come to power through institutions cannot change or destroy those very institutions, even when that is exactly what they have announced that they will do. Revolutionaries sometimes do tend to destroy institutions all at once. That This was the approach of the Russian Bolsheviks. Sometimes institutions are deprived of vitality and function, turned into a simulacrum, simulacrum of what they once were, so that they gird the new order rather than resisting it. This is what the Nazis called Gleichschaltung. It took less than a year for the new Nazi order to consolidate. By the end of 1933, Germany had become a one-party state in which all major institutions had been humbled. That November, German authorities held parliamentary elections without opposition and a referendum on an issue where the quote correct and quote answer was known to confirm the new order. Some German Jews voted as the Nazi leaders wanted them to in hope that this gesture of loyalty would bind the new system to them. That was a vain hope. <laughs>